Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome now to a round review from Delamere Forest today for the PGA Championship Qualifier and what was one of the stranger rounds that I've had. So throughout this video I'll be dropping footage of Delamere that I had last night during a practice round and just also explaining through what I did today. So we ended up shooting a 74 which was 3 over par and I, I, how about we just start by having a look at my score overall. So here's my scorecard and I want you to pay attention to what happened on the front nine. So I shot five over and that included seven bogeys and two birdies. So I didn't manage to have a par on the front nine at all. Now there were a few different changes. So if you've played Delamere before, one of the holes is out of action, so number 15. So they've got a temporary hole on the front nine and they've also maneuvered around kind of how the course is structured. So the 18th, that's the ninth. It's a little bit confusing to explain, but basically I didn't par. <laughs> I'm gonna have that weird effect on my shirt, one sec. Yeah, I'm not sure what that effect is. I think it's called Mouen or Noir or something like that. So I was going into this comp after a couple of weeks of pretty heavy traveling where I've been managing to get a fair bit of golf in, but actually not managing to practice. So I wasn't quite sure where my game was at, but as always, as always, as per the last kind of four or five comps, on the first tee, I am really pleased to say that I'm a lot more comfortable, a lot more comfortable than I have been. Don't really feel nervous at all, and I'm confident about hitting the shot that I want to. So that's a big bonus. Um, I hit a great throw it off the first, and I kind of hit a really dodgy second shot, kind of splayed off to the right hand side, and then kicked right. It was very, very bouncy at Delamere today. So it was a bad shot, which turned into a really dodgy shot because it went further right with a kick. Almost hold my chip, and then lipped out for my par put from about 10 foot. Now, that was to set in motion what I would call a trend. So I'll keep kind of my scorecard up here as well. But I'm just gonna go onto my round pro as well and go through a little bit of my strokes gained and, and what I saw today. So you can see here my strokes gained really kind of explains everything that went on today. So my short approach and my driving, I actually gained strokes on the field. So especially my driving off the tee, I was pretty good. I only hit one really loose tee shot uh, and even that didn't actually affect me too much. So off the tee, I was very, very steady. But my putting, I just could not, I just could not get it in the hole. So this particular part of the My Round Pro app uh, where it breaks down putting and exactly what went on, this really just explains it all. So you can see here from four foot and under, yeah, I was good, I didn't miss a thing. And actually I hit some really good putts from that distance, but I didn't hole a single putt outside the four foot range. Now listen, you don't need me to be telling you that if you're doing that, then you're not gonna be winning much. You're certainly not gonna be competing at the top of a leaderboard. But for whatever reason, I was hitting some good putts, but they just were not dropping. So you can see here, the most strokes I actually lost on my putting was between nine and 15 feet. So that's where I need to put most of the work in. And again, between nine and six foot. So I just wasn't, uh... so you can see on my driving, I've hit one left and one right. The one left was actually not that far off line, but actually put me in a fair bit of trouble. I actually made an okay bogey at the end of that hole. Um, but then the one off to the right, that was a bad shot, but that didn't get me in too much trouble. The rest were pretty much middle of the fairway. 62% of fairways hit with an average distance of 300 six yards and I was actually getting the ball out there a decent distance today. So one of the issues I was having, see 150 yards to 200 yards here, my approach is into the green. I just wasn't getting them close enough. And when, when I was missing the green, certainly on the front line, I just wasn't able to get up and down. So to boil it down, I mean, finding the right pace, finding the right line. Yes, that comes down to the day. So you might not be seeing your puts right, but at the end of the day, you know, it's about practice. It's about putting the effort in and the time in to actually get yourself attuned to putting well. and. I've not really been able to do that in the last few weeks. I've not found enough time, so that's my fault. But it's amazing the switching mentality that I had um, on the ninth hole. So I'd been on this bogey train apart from one chip in on a, on a par three, and I was really struggling to break out of it. But I just couldn't get off the train, could not get off the bogey train. And then on the ninth, which was basically the 18th in normal place, so it's around the corner to the right, I managed to birdie it, great drive down there, smashed it, 
great hybrid, four hybrid, right into the center of the green, pretty much uh, right in line with the pin, and then a decent two pup, so birdie. From that point on, for whatever reason, I was able to free myself up and I hit some really good shots, drove it very well, hit some really good approach shots in there as well, nice and close, and without trying to sound too, too full of myself, really, on that back nine, I could have been six, seven under today. So I actually wasn't overly displeased with how I played, and the two lads I was playing with, Grant and Ollie as well, now, Ollie is currently, I think he's going to go in a playoff. So he shot one over, and he was just really, really steady. You know, he played some really good golf. There was only one hole where he lost the ball off a tee shot, and I think apart from that, you know, he was, he was under par. He was playing really well, and he was holding the putts, and it just makes that big difference when you're able to get even 50% of those puts, you know, between 10 and five foot. If you can just hold a few of those, it makes the world a difference. And Andy Palmer, who I've played with before, is actually leading the comp at the moment. He's four under, and that score was definitely, definitely gettable today. So overall, disappointed because of that really bad start and how I performed on the green, but also actually taking away quite a few positives about the way that I bounced back. So plan of action for me, I've got to keep on working on that long game. Certainly my approach play really does need to improve. I'm not getting it close enough at times. And then obviously putting, you know, if I'm putting like that, then it's going to give me a massive handicap. And certainly last year, I wasn't striking it as well, but I was putting really, really well. Uh, certainly in the middle towards the end of the year. So that's the one area that I've really got to pick up on. And certainly now I need to start planning when my next comps are going to be. I've got this week where I've got to do loads and loads of editing, loads of content and get that prep. The following week I'm actually in France for a week on holiday, going over there to visit Carly's parents, which I'm really looking forward to. And then it's bang back into it where I've got to get playing, I've got to get practicing. And fingers crossed, if the weather stays good, it's starting to rain a little bit now, that's going to be possible. And hopefully you guys have been able to get out in this good weather, certainly in the UK, that's been happening over the weekend. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Didn't qualify, but you know what? I'm pleased with that back nine performance and I can certainly take the positives out of it. And as long as I can take some positives from around, that's what I'm looking for. That front nine seems a long way away. Right guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And we'll see you down here next time.